What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Welcome back into the Country Roads webcast. Here for another video covering WVU in the College Football 25 video game. We previously had, you know, the single clip released from the gameplay blog way back when. But now, courtesy of, you know, some of these creators that are part of the EA Sports Creator Network, have, you know, a beta version of the game that they've played. They've been allowed to, you know, put out clips from it now. And one of those clips, courtesy of Good Game Bro, you can find on YouTube. He had some clips of WVU, luckily for us. So we get it at enhanced look here of West Virginia in this game. We get to see, you know, the pride of West Virginia a little bit and where they sit in the stadium there. That's all there and accounted for. We get our first look at the Mountaineer mascot. We get to hear the musket firing. We see our first look at the gold jerseys. We're going to point out some of the players here as well. And we got a few clips here to look at. So let's dive in and take a look at this with no further ado. Um, I'll kind of just pause it and talk about it as we go through. But let's take a look at WVU in College Football 25 as we were just a few short days now away from the release of the game and getting to play with the 2024 version of the Mountaineers virtually. All right. So as you can see here, um, this is going to be you know the first play it starts off with. Right here in the screen on the play, you can see uh, Jaden Bray right there in the slide. You can see Traylon Davis at tight end. You see Wyatt Milam and Garrett Green are both uh, with the star there. That means they're going to be impact players in this game, so that's good to see both those getting that recognition. We know Wyatt Milam was rated as a top 100 player in the game. Uh, the other day, you may have noticed that in a live stream, EA kind of hit us with a bait and switch. They told us we were going to get the launch roster, so we thought we were going to get to unveil all of the Mountaineers ratings. Instead, they only revealed the top 100 players, but we did get to see Wyatt Milam in there. Uh, then you have Jaquay Hubbard, Brandon Yates, Thomas Remack, and Xavier Bosley here along the offensive line. I believe that these two should be flipped is the only thing. is uh, I believe Remack plays left guard and Jaquay Hubbard's going to play right guard most likely. But we also got to remember this is a beta version of the game, so they may have made some tweaks to the roster, some tweaks to some things. By the time we get the official version coming out now in less than a week, uh, but here is what we got in the beta version. I believe also uh, lined up here were Hudson Clement and I think Justin Robinson on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. But here's one of the first plays. We'll run through this, get our first look at the gold jerseys here as well. Running back to try to force the defense to adjust. He tosses one high and deep down. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds. And there he is looking for Preston Fox. Uh, and of course, there's a the field goal head. kick, but I'll come back to that. But there is something I want to point out on that second pass attempt here because we get a good look at the lineup before it. Let me hit this right here. Um, let me pause it here. CJ in the backfield. Um, Hudson Clement out wide left here. Offensive line remains the same. But we have Preston Fox in the slot here and Jaden Bray on the outside. My only question is I'm not too sure who 34 is here in this clip. Um, we know I think 34 on defense is Avery Wilcox. As far as I know, there's no 34 on offense. Check the roster. I mean, Rodney Gallagher's 24. But like I said, we got to remember this is a beta version of the game, so it may not have had the rosters officially set yet. So it may have just been a generic stand-in player until they could get the roster complete. Uh, hard to tell, but that's the only one that I have a question about right there that doesn't seem like it's anybody that's actually on the team. Uh, so that's the one I was wondering about. But uh, nonetheless, we'll get to see another you know quick incompletion here, but it leads to a field goal that Michael Hayes hits, and uh, we get to see that as well and see uh, some of the celebrations after that, which is pretty cool, and I'll pause on some of those as well. See the striped stadium going on. Yeah, looking great. So here's uh, Garrett targeting Preston there. Lines up incomplete. Uh, Michael Hayes hits the field goal to put West Virginia up on 10 State, and you hear the musket fire there. You run back one more time. Just to make sure there it is. Pretty cool. And a uh, nice graphic here that comes up with the uh, fine WV logo right here as well. Show the replay. See Sully Weed and Nick Malone there on the, on the field goal block team. And here we got some shots on the sideline of Brandon Yates, CJ Donaldson, Eric Green right there as well. The gold jersey's looking really good uh, with the blue helmets and the blue pants. Got to love that pant stripe. Of course, we get to see him here in the game. We're going to have to get to see him and experience him before we see him in real life. You see the striped stadium going on in the crowd. That's in the game as well. Sure, the Gold Rush and True Blue will also be in there. Uh, EA Sports did a really good job incorporating a lot of this. They actually came to WVU. It was one of the 41 schools they came to to record audio. So not only are they going to have the musket firing, you hear the band playing, um, Hell WV as well, the fight song there, after we kick the field goal. But you will also – uh, most likely hear our first down chant. You'll hear the Let's Go Mountaineers chant. All of that should be in the game as well, so that's pretty awesome. 
And of course, as promised, got to get a good look at the Mountaineer mascot. This is our best look at it uh, from the same video. A little bit earlier in the video, we get a shot of the mascot and a little bit some of the entrance elements as well here in this clip, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the band's going to form for the team run out and everything just like it does in real life. They really went all out to kind of recreate team entrances. So that's pretty awesome to see as well. We'll get some little clips of that right here. Like I said, shout out to Good Game Bro on YouTube uh, for providing this in one of his videos. There you see the Mountaineer probably leading the Let's Go Mountaineers chant. Here you see us coming out of the locker room. They've got the, you know, pyro that we've added recently um, since Ren Baker came, which is a really nice touch with, you know, the West Virginia Pillars. That's in the game as well. Uh, we see some shots of some players here. Ben Cutter, Fator Mamulba, Sean Martin there. Um, looks like Wyatt Milam right up there in the left as well. Um, they have the American flag on the helmet as well. They even have our country roads uh, across the back. So it really does look uh, very accurate here as we see a little bit of our entrance here coming out onto the field there. Pretty awesome to see. You see a good shot of the crowd there, the fans looking good. And then one more shot here. Looks like mainly defensive players here. So I, that's actually Josiah Jackson, not Jaheim White. But you see Josiah Trotter, Anthony Wilson, Ben Cutter in the back there as West Virginia makes their entrance here. So pretty awesome to see uh, some West Virginia clips here, kind of wet our whistle ahead of the game's release. Um, really exciting stuff, and I think they did a great job uh, recreating the uniforms for sure. They look spot on, and the stadium for the most part uh, looks pretty accurate as well. Love to get the look of the uh, Mountaineer mascot there up close and personal. We saw the pride of West Virginia sitting back behind the uh, end zone there, but can't wait to see them perform in game when it's time for West Virginia to make their entrance and we get to experience this for ourselves once we get this game in our hands in less than a week now. But there you have it, our first look at the Mountaineer mascot, a brief look at the pride of West Virginia, and some really cool game clips showcasing some different elements of WVU in the upcoming EA Sports College Football 25 game. I'm super excited about it, and if you're someone that feels the same way, maybe you should check out my other channel, JC's Pop Culture. I'll throw it up here on the screen so you can get a look at it. But if you are a fan of this game, definitely head over there and subscribe. I'm covering all kinds of news in the lead-up to the release. I have over 60 videos updating the news on this game. And, of course, once it comes out, I'll be having gameplay clips and stuff like that over there so you get to see me play uh, with the Mountaineers a little bit on that channel but having said that let me know in the comments guys are you excited for this game do you think West Virginia looks good do you think they got everything pretty accurate let me know your thoughts down there always appreciate those interactions and just before you head out just click that little thumbs up button give me a like on the video really helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm and of course if you're a fan of WVU football be sure to subscribe here to the Country Roads webcast where we'll be covering it all throughout the 2024 season and it should be a really fun one having said that as always I'm Jordan Cruz, and until next time, let's go Mountaineers.